Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve an issue where you're unable to get past the Windows 10 welcome screen. So this is, I'm not going to say a very common issue, but assuming you're not getting any blue screens associated with this, and there's really no other information you can diagnose just by looking at the problem, this tutorial will hopefully walk through a couple different steps that could resolve the problem. So without being too specific, because it is kind of a generic problem, we're going to go through a few generic troubleshooting steps, but hopefully one of them should work for you guys. So if we can't log into our computer, and if we try to insert a password, we might get stuck in a loop where it says welcome and we don't actually go anywhere. What we're going to do is look down to the bottom right corner of our screen and we see the shutdown button. So what we want to do is hold down the shift key on our keyboard while we left click on the shutdown button. And then you want to left click on the restart key right here. So like I said, hold down the shift key plus the restart button. Hold down the shift key while you left click on restart right here. This will launch the advanced troubleshooting utilities that are built into Windows 10. So underneath choose an option. We want to left click on troubleshoot which says it will reset your PC or see advanced options. You want to left click on that. And now you want to left click on advanced options again. And now you want to go to startup settings. Left click on the restart button now. We are trying to get into our Windows 10 safe mode in case anybody was curious. So now using our function keys at the top of our keyboard, we're going to tap on the F5 key. You don't have to do F5, you can also do F4 or F6, but I am more comfortable and I think most of you guys probably would rather have networking capabilities within safe mode. So I'm going to select F5 on my keyboard. And this should launch safe mode with networking. So now at this point you would try to insert your password and this is going to hopefully be a little bit different because we're trying to get into safe mode now. We're not booting into our normal Windows operating environment. So hopefully you should be able to sign into Windows at this point. If you're not able to even get to that point, I am going to in the next alternative solution show you guys a way of how to troubleshoot this without being able to even log into safe mode but for right now while we're in safe mode if we can get to this point what I would recommend doing is going and seeing if there are any programs you might have had installed on your computer recently and then uninstall them um, something else I would recommend doing is actually opening up the start menu and typing in drivers and well you could also type in device manager but we're trying to get to device manager and since I typed in drivers, it's going to be underneath the settings menu. But you can also get to it directly by typing in device manager on the start menu. So I'm going to open that up. And then I would check to see if there were any updates or any driver updates you might have recently installed. So if you recall doing anything, um, typically I would recommend checking for display adapters. And then just by right clicking on the display adapter after you've expanded this view by either clicking this little arrow or double clicking on the name. I would recommend right clicking on it and then update the driver software. You can search automatically for updated driver software. That's why I recommend one of the reasons why that you keep networking enabled in safe mode if you can. But we can see the best driver software is already installed. You can also manually go online and check and run different tools that will allow you to see if you're running the most up-to-date versions of your display adapter. So if it's NVIDIA, AMD, or so forth. And then there are also other common devices that I would recommend doing the same thing for. For example, you could do the same thing for display as you would for disk drives, computer, and so forth. 
If that does not work for you, what I recommend doing is backing out of here. So I'm going to left click on the power button and then I'm going to hold down on the shift key again while I left click on restart. So hold down the shift key while left clicking on restart because now we're going to try and get back into our troubleshooting tools. But of course I would recommend that you guys actually restart your computer first and just see if the welcome screen loop has gone away. If it has not, then follow the steps I just did and then press restart and then get back into this menu. And then we're going to select troubleshooting again. Click on advanced options. And now we have a few more options that we can get a little bit more into. Now if you do have a backup copy of your system image, I'd recommend you actually go on here and for the system image recovery, which will recover windows using a specific system image. So if you click on that, it just will take a moment to load, so just be patient. So at this point you would select the account that you're trying to recover from a system image. Again, that's if you've already backed up your computer. So we can see that Windows cannot find a system image on this computer. Attach a backup hard disk or insert the final DVD from backup set and click retry. So if you've already saved the system image to another drive like a DVD or CD, you could do that. You can also select a system image by clicking on this bottom one right here which will allow you to open up and look through a DVD if you put one in. If you do not have a DVD, just you do not want to proceed with that, of course. But we can also go back to troubleshooting and then advanced options again. If you have any system restore points saved on your computer, I'd recommend checking this out as well. It's always a very good place to head. Since no restore points were made, unfortunately, we cannot do that, but you would just select the probably one of the more recent ones from the list and then restore the computer back by following the on-screen instructions. So that one should be pretty self-explanatory when you go through it that way. You can also roll back Windows 10 to the previous build. That's always another scenario you could run. Also backed up here and went underneath reset this PC. You can actually refresh the PC by keeping your files and removing apps and setting changes. This is definitely better than removing everything if you can help it. And there was one other thing I should mention and that's if you decided to open up a command line window. So if you went back here and into troubleshooting, you can actually run a command prompt and run different commands. You can definitely run the SFC space forward slash scan now feature. It's a pretty well-known command line execution that will scan your file system's integrity and that's always a good possible route if you're still experiencing issues. So I have covered multiple ways of how to hopefully resolve this issue. It's a pretty generic one so that's why I kind of was pretty generic with this video. But this kind of video would work for a lot of different problems, at least it should help a lot of people. And then I recommend after you try each one of these different scenarios we ran through, I'd recommend restarting your computer, try and log back into Windows 10 the normal way, and hopefully the problem has been resolved. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.